What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about the Last of Us TV show as well as the multiplayer. I'm going to throw in a little discussion about the multiplayer in as well, but let's talk about this. So the release date for the show has now been officially confirmed. It was leaked. I was going to say rumored. Not really. It was leaked on the official, like, the site, I think, of HBO um, yesterday where it said, like, premiere date January 15th, and then they took it away, I think, like, seven, eight hours after that had come up. And then today, they confirm January 15th is, you know, what's actually going to happen. It's on HBO. You can stream at 4K HBO Max. It's nine episodes. So, and I saw people say, like, why not just do 10? I don't understand the difference between nine to 10 episodes. I mean, it's more money and more time. So, you can maybe imagine that's the reasoning. But nine episodes long, weekly releases. I don't, I'm not 100% sure, at least as of recording this, and maybe you guys know and can let me know if it's nine literally straight weeks or is there like a week off, you know? Thing. I don't watch much television. The Walking Dead, uh, you know, going back in the day or Breaking Bad, Better Call Saul. I mean, sometimes they would take like weird one to two week breaks, but nine weeks starting on January 15th puts you right until right around the end of March. And I want to get there in a second to the, the multiplayer, but I just kind of want to finish up the news. Well, that really, you know what? That really is all there is to it. They did the poster, a new poster. I like it. I saw some people, there were some people talking about how the words, the last of us is like too big, like too in your face and that posters or, or uh, game covers should be more kind of like subtle. I mean, I don't mind it. I actually really like the poster to it. I like the idea of, of titles being subtle. I'm not a fan at all of the part one remake of, uh, of the last of us. I'm not a fan of that box, you know, cover, but I mean, I don't know. It's subjective. Some people, could like it some people could not and i saw another person that talks about how it's actually not like it, it's not straight like where you see joel and ellie at the top the name the last of us isn't like synchronized or whatever you want to call it see i'm not an artist and the thumbnails aren't very good but it's not in line with it so that's another thing that people are pointing out but i like it i like the poster and look i've been very and just i want to throw this in here just so you guys know the evolution of my mind because things can actually change and i try to be very very open and honest with you guys in how i think of things movies games etc i was very worried about this show so far so good that's kind of where i'm at I don't like the idea of games being made into movies or television once they're announced and once they're happening there's nothing you can do about it and then you know all you have to do i guess at that point is see if they can nail it and so far the trailers look fantastic and will they run into issues when they start to expand it beyond the game which they're going to do yes they could definitely run into issues Will they run into some major issues whenever they get to The Last of Us Part 2 and they replicate the game into the show? Yes, there'll be many issues with that. You know what I mean? So there is a road ahead where things may not go perfectly, but I'm going to give it a chance. And that's kind of where I'm at right now. I, I, I'm still generally maybe worried because that's kind of like my mantra. Like that, that's just what I say. But I am very excited for this show. The show does look absolutely fantastic in those trailers. So I'm really looking forward to it. By the way, I want to talk about the, the multiplayer, but let me know, please, for the love of God, in the comments, I like to review these shows. I actually reviewed every single episode of the Halo show. I did it on my second channel, Podcast Now Plus. I want to review it. I think it makes sense because it's a game turned into something, so it makes sense for me to cover it. Do you want to see it here, or do you want to see it on my second channel? The views will probably, you know, be a, a, a big factor in that as well. If it sucks on one of these channels, then maybe not at all. So just let me know if you want to see me cover it, basically. All right, the multiplayer. Let's talk about that real fast. So I know I saw this kind of being floated out there, just putting it into the universe, trying to will it into existence. Can we get the multiplayer to line up with the show? Now, okay. The show starts January 15th. There's no way. There's no way the multiplayer would be ready by then. For the simple fact that Neil had talked about, right, that they're not going to talk about the multiplayer until next year. But when they do talk about it and show it, like, they, you know, it, it's game time. I, at least that's, that's how I perceived how he said it. So I don't think January 15th obviously works. And you could argue January, February. I mean, you can keep going. It, it seems unlikely. Also, you have to think about all the other games coming out around that time, right? There's a lot of games in January. Hogwarts and others is in February. But if the show ends the end of March, I mean, 
you could do it. You have Forspoken as your first, you know, it's not a Sony made thing, but it's a Sony exclusive. So you have that first. And then, you know, could The Last of Us multiplayer be second? Now, could you line it up? I mean, I think what would be kind of perfect is if the show ended, the final episode is March, whatever. And I think the 24th is a Friday. So let's say the 26th just for fun. March 26th, the show ends. Could you get the game that week, the last week of March, and the and it goes into the first week of April? Could you do that? Because I feel like that would kind of be very, it would, just, it would be synchronized. It would be very harmonious. Is that the right, is that even a word? Is that the right word? I just think it would make a lot of sense. Now, is that possible? I don't know, because you'd have to start very fast and furious, not the movie franchise, but you'd have to do it because as soon as January hits, you know, again, if they're not going to show this game or talk about this game until the new year, if the game comes out in March, I know it's multiplayer, but like you got to have a, a run up to it because remember, this really is going to be the first of its kind and the first of many more of these kind of games for Sony PS5 and PC day one, right? They'll both release the same day. We can kind of assume uh, it's most likely free to play, right? It's a live service game. I mean, it could go actually really, really wrong, by the way. I'm not saying like I'm excited for it, but there's so much that could go wrong here. It's not even funny. But it's still a new game and it's exciting in some sense. But that's kind of where we're at, right? You have to talk about it. We got to have a lead up to it. And then the game comes out. There's story components of it they've talked about. So if they could get it late March, early April, somewhere around that time. Again, like, would it be perfect to have it release the week of the first episode? Yes. Would it be perfect to have it release the week of the final episode? Yes. There's times where it would just be like, ooh, that it just works because you would have such a high from people focused on the show and then literally the same week it leads into the game i mean it, it would be perfect but that's not how it you know i mean it's not how it works i assume the show has kind of jumped around and when the, it was supposed to kind of release the game most likely has been pushed multiple times and it just seems like that to me right so you're not going to get it to line up perfectly honestly that would be the best case scenario is late march early april I'm going to say in terms of like a prediction, maybe closer to the summer. The Last of Us 1 and 2 actually both released in June originally. I, Naughty Dog, I mean, Uncharted has released in May and in August and all over the place November. So they don't necessarily have a perfect month or a month they do every time. But June seems to be something. So if you could have the multiplayer June, July, August, somewhere in that summer. So that'll be my prediction is somewhere in that June period. It's, it's not the best case scenario because the best case scenario is again to line it up as best you can with the show but it's it's i don't know it because of all the stuff that can go wrong and delays and all this stuff it just seems the most likely to happen so let me know what you guys think you excited for the show again where do you want me to cover it or do you want me to cover it and what do you think about the multiplayer for the last of us in general let me know make sure you guys are subscribed bell icon turned on so you know when all these videos go up if you want to follow or support me anywhere else all my social media including our patreon and youtube memberships is in the description below thank you guys for watching and i hope to see you all on the next one